and welcome. This is your host, E. Razor MK. Back again. This time we are going to do a review of the KOF Online Beta. And not just any KOF, KOF 15. Oh my goodness. So I took like a week just to understand what what the beta got, what the positives, negatives, and I did like a brief um description on note on piece of paper and all that stuff. So it's gonna be a doozy, but 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 buckle up, boys and girls, because here we go. Well, before I start with the main menu, there was a bit of little craziness going on on the PS4 um, P and PS5 beta launch because I heard that and I've seen it happen that some people don't have PS Plus and they can play it online while other users got get the PS Plus to play online I don't know what happened I don't I don't think it's SNK fault it's more so the uh, Sony Sony side so 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 I'm it's just my little gripe about the, that so anyway let's continue on what the main menu is the main menu is phenomenal it's like it's so easy to to look at like unlike KOF 14 where you gotta go here then click here there's a sub menu here then click here and then boom while this is just right here in your face say versus story training and then it says online rank match that 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 see that is perfect you know you don't have to do all that searching and all that stuff, so. Then when you hit the tutorial, it says basic move, attack move. And then once you hit like like a certain thing, like basic move, it'll show you a list on on the basic move that you want to be learning. So that that's cool. So I'm thinking if you're doing like character mission mode, like the combo, basically the combo mission, and I think it's gonna be just like that. So that's that's gonna be wonderful. Okay, tutorial mode, the, the tutorial mode was excellent. It was well made. It tells you reason why you want to learn this and tell you reason why you should do this. And there's sometimes they'll tell you how to do a little shortcut on, on certain moves like the short hop, the hyper hop that you can dash and do and then hit the up button to do like a hyper hop or a short hop. It's so, it's just so well made compared to 14 to 15. This is a well-made tutorial mode, so so that's that's a big bonus right there. Okay, the train mode. The train mode is amazing. The uh, train mode got frame data, so it has the plus, the two plus, the equals, the minus, the two minuses. A little confusing at first, but it's still a good start from getting some frame data. Uh, got got the uh, character movement, characters this and that just like in 14. Got a quick character select screen, which is a golden rule on if you want to do train mode, which that is amazing. And then a quick uh, stage select if you want to change the scenery. And it also had the, uh, it's got, got, it got the input readings on the KOF 14. And oh my gosh, like the keyframe data and all that stuff, this is really good. Okay, my only gripe is when I do like reset, like when you reset your character to neutral, I kind of wish that if I can move like my stick, for example, if I want to go to my the far left of the wall, I can just move my left stick and hit the uh, select or that big or or anything to reset myself and go to where it is. For example, the left stick to hit select, go to left wall, right stick, go to the right wall, or hit the stick down to go to like the center. But all in all, the train mode was was good. And now, everyone's questioning, how good is the online in KOF 15 is? The online, believe it or not, ladies and gents, ran pretty good. good. Like, I was so surprised how well KOF 15 ran. I was gonna have that KOF 13 flashback with Guilty Gear Strive open beta flashback. Oh my god, don't don't even talk about Guilty Gear Strive Beta. The very first beta. Woo-wee! But anyway. Anyway. Dealing with KOF 15. KOF 15 online is stable. It's that's what surprised me. It's so stable. Cause if you play KOF 13, 
14 can be spotty at times. The Samurai, so Samurai Showdown can be spotty too. But man, you'd be so amazed of KOF 15's improvement. Because it runs a little bit good, like, like KOF 2002 Unlimited Match. But there's a few problems of the online. Yeah, there's one where characters, you know, stuttering a little bit. And then there's that little teleportation type of deal. Like in Street Fighter Five, Like when you, like Street Fighter Five just got bad roll back then. Because characters would be teleporting like close to what to right up to her face. So like, how you get there so fast? I was having a little bit of that with KOF 50. But it wasn't bad. It was just... Few, it was just a few half steps. I was like, okay, it's kind of teleporting a little bit. Characters are stuttering everywhere. It's all good. Then there's occasionally it will freezes. Don't know if was my online. Don't know if my opponent's online. But again, it is a beta after all. We'll just we'll just see it in like like when the game's released and all that stuff. But and then um, I love I love the idea that you can rematch them best two out of three with the casual matches and then it gives you the chance to go to room match if you really like to face your opponents over and over. I didn't want to do room match because I still want to stress test the beta of how good the online can get. And overall like I play like I think around 10, 12 matches even though some of them are just rematches it still still ran pretty well and I hope SNK is listening this, you guys are on the right track with the online. Just need a few improvements. That's it. Just a few improvements. And this will be the best King of Fighters I ever played. Oh, well, 2002 is probably the best I ever played. But, you know, KOF 15 is almost there. It just need a few tweaks. A few tweaks of the online and it will be perfect. Another problem of the online is sometimes the input won't won't read or sometimes sometimes when you push something it's like it's a little delay at times and I was like oh gosh I can't I can't sometimes get my light punch going I sometimes I can't get my specials going I sometimes I can't get my super going but you know I probably wasn't used to the, the online Maybe if I play a little bit longer, I probably got used to it, but still, it just... KOF is an execution-heavy game. All your movements and all that stuff needs to be on point when you play online. And, you know, you know, you know it's probably just me being bad at the online or something, but... But, and like I said before, this is coming close to be one of the best KOF games ever. Character-wise, they look great. The graphics is so gorgeous. Oh my god, when I first seen it, I thought, oh my god, the graphics so pretty. Got that Samurai Showdown type of colorful graphics with the KOF type of flair. It looks wonderful. The character looks great. Like Dolores, Chizuru, Shermy, Chris... Yashiro, Iori, Shune, and Kyo, they all look so amazing. Like character design and all that stuff. Man, I will put KOF character designs as the top of the top, okay? Along with Guilty Gear Strive. I mean I mean there's one thing that KOF did that that Street Fighter can't make some good design characters whole. Heaven forbid. Street Fighter 5's character design is so bad at times. Oh my goodness. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh my gosh. I can... I'm lamenting that I can't play the beta no more. I have to wait at least two months. Two freaking months for KOF 15. But man, once I get in my hand... I feel like I'm in heaven, okay? That's uh, that's the only thing that I want in 2021. Well, not 2021, but 2022 is the KOF 15. Unless Kirby somehow magically appears on spring saying, oh, we're coming in spring right after KOF. 
then that'd be my second game. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh my gosh. I want to play more KOF 15. And now I'm lamenting on the memories of KOF 15. It was so fun to play. The beta was solid. Just reworking on the online. There's a few minor things with the online. And this would be a perfect KOF game. Oh gosh. Oh man, I hope SNK release another beta, but it's probably unlikely. Well, I probably just gotta wait till February to play KOF 15. Oh man. Oh man, I hope SNK just release another beta. Please! <laughs> I wanna play more! Uh, anyway. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey, leave a like if you like. Share to your friends if they're... They're a big fan of KOF just like yours truly. Hey, why don't you subscribe? Hit that bell no notification if you don't want to miss anything KOF related or gamer related from yours truly. This is your host, EraserMK, signing off. I'll catch you guys next time.